Um. All right. Staying here. But her son. Sean. All right. No point. In John and his brother? Is that them? They're good little boys. Always drinking. They didn't have an easy life, you know. It seems to be working. She's remembering stuff. Gotta find something else to show her. I love origami, but that's not my favorite one. I love origami, but that's not my favorite one. I love origami, but that's not my favorite one. You know how to do these little dogs, too. My children loved origami. I taught them how to do it. John loved the little dogs. He always wanted to call them Max. Max, Max, Max. All dogs with the same name. I was wasting my time telling him they couldn't all have the same name. But he always wanted his paper dogs Max. It's funny, isn't it? Her memory is coming back. Don't stop now. Just, just remember. Did you make these origami figures? My little paper animals. They played with them for hours. I showed my boys how to make them, you know. Yes, your boys, Mrs. Shepard. John and what was your other son's name again? My other son? I only had one son, my little Johnny.
This woman might be the origami killer's mother. Must be some way to get her to remember. All right, no point in wasting my time. I won't learn anything more by staying here. Does Mrs. Shepard ever talk about her past? It's not all very clear to her now. Sometimes she'll remember the oddest things, though. I suppose if she sees something that reminds her of her past. Did she ever mention her sons? Sons? Well, she often mentions John. I, I think he drowned. Does she ever talk about her other son? I didn't know she had another one. I've never heard her mention it. I'm looking for her other son. He was adopted. I mean, he, he's probably changed his name. Is there any official documentation on Mrs. Shepard? No, there's nothing really. Nothing about her family. I guess if her son was adopted, then she's the only one who could tell you about that. Sometimes, if you show her things, it seems to trigger a memory from her past. You might get it to remember. Thanks for the advice. What a lovely orchid. My sons loved orchids. We used to grow them in the back. When John died, I laid orchids on his grave. I cried when they told me. I'd already lost one of my children, and now they were taking away another one, you understand. The foster family, Mrs. Shepherd. What was the name of the foster family that adopted John's brother? They were really very nice people. I met them, you know. In the beginning, I used to go and see my little boy. And then I got sick and I couldn't go any longer. Perhaps he thought I'd forgotten him. He must have thought I didn't love him anymore. His name, Mrs. Shepard. What was his name? But I loved him. If you only knew how much I missed him. Please, Anne. His name. What was his name? Come closer. We've only got a few more hours left to save Sean Mars. There has to be a goddamn clue somewhere. It's probably staring me in the face. 
This kid's gonna die, and I'm going around in circles! All packed up and ready to go? What are you talking about? The investigation's over. We know who did it. We no longer need your services anymore, Norman. So you can ride your files all the way back to Washington. I'd be lying if I said I was gonna miss you. The investigation isn't over. You have absolutely nothing on Mars. Mars is guilty. Case closed. Anyway, it's no concern of yours now. You're off the case. So pack up and fuck off. Blake, you are an unbalanced, psychopathic asshole. I'll take that as a compliment. Honestly, I don't give a shit what you think. I found the origami killer. Everyone's happy. End of story. Have a nice trip back, Norman. Killer's name is here. Somewhere in this data. I just have to find it. Find it before it's too late. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. That would be most unfortunate, sir. Harry was in record mode when I was fighting with the killer. Perhaps there's something on it. sword was already in Paco's office. It's got nothing to do with the killer. There's always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. And all the victims disappeared in the fall. There's always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. And all the victims disappeared in the fall.
I... I can't go on. I can't go on. Someone, the water's still rising. Joe won't be able to hang on for long. Dad, I've got to get Dad. He's the only one that can save John. I've got to move. This place is completely deserted. There's no one around to help. I need to get help fast. John's gonna drown. John's gonna drown. Mom's work is too far away. I'd never make it in time. Hold on, bro. I'll find some. Dad, Dad, it's John. He, he fell into a pond. Oh, He's gone. Leave me alone. Gotta come, Dad. Come on, John's gonna die. John's gonna die. Well, that'll be one less greedy mouth to feed, won't it? Go Please, away. Please, Dad, I'm begging you. John's gonna die. John's gonna die, Why Dad. Don't tell ya?
lost your touch, girl. The origami killer's apartment. There must be something that'll tell me where Sean Mars is. would be carried out. That's where the smell of burning comes from. Evidence going up in smoke. A cop's uniform. Always trust a cop. That's why children went with him. He was dressed as a cop. Sean Mars. Oh, the lunatic's been watching him drown. But it's some kind of a well filling up with shit. It needs a password. Got it. Max. The name John gave to his paper dogs when he was a child. What the hell is that? An address. It's gotta be where Sean Mars is. Hurry. There's no time to lose. So you found my little secret? It's over, Scott. All those children killed just to find a father capable of saving his son? Shut up! You don't understand. There's one child left. There might still be time to save him. Let him go. Do what your father couldn't do.
too high. I'll kill myself if I jump. You gotta find something else. Origami Killer has taken a ninth victim. The body of Sean Mars was discovered this morning on wasteland north of the city. The officer in charge of the investigation, Captain Leighton Perry, has resigned this morning. Our main headline today. It is reported that Ethan Mars, the origami killer, has been arrested. Police psychologists are currently evaluating the mental state of the accused, and he is believed to have a serious psychiatric condition. In a related tragedy, it was learned that the investigation has cost the life of Madison Page, a young reporter covering the origami killer story. Journalist Madison Page was laid to rest in Charity Cross Cemetery today. Her heroic death while investigating the disappearance of Sean Mars has made a lasting impression on the whole country. Colleagues from the press are united in paying tribute to this courageous journalist who sacrificed her life in the search for truth. I'm Brittany Sanders for ICN. Okay, Brittany, it's a wrap. Great, let's get out of here. All those hokey clap cups made me hungry. What are you gonna do now? I don't know. Resign? Try to forget? I don't know. Is Tripto part of your plan to forget? It was the most effective way I found. Except it's not a solution. For the moment, I'm not looking for solutions. I just want to forget. I'm afraid things may have affected you more than you think. Why do you say that? I'm okay. I'm getting through this. Let's just take it easy. See what happens when it's all over. It may never be over long.
I want to see them again. I'm a father too.